So the last thing I expected this morning when I woke up was everywhere to be covered in snow but it is, so obviously I'm gonna go out and shoot. Today I'm actually gonna take the drone with me as well. It's been a very long time since I used it, so I think it's, it's necessary. Also, I'm gonna be giving you a few tips on how to make it a little bit easier to, if you're shooting by yourself. So like today I'm gonna to be by myself, not gonna have anyone with me, but still, I'm gonna try and get a good video and I'm gonna be giving you some tips on the way to keep you motivated. So yeah, let's just get it. So that little b-roll sequence I showed you, that was filmed right here, sort of within a 10 meter radius by myself, no one else around. It's, it's quite easy to do. That kind of brings me on to my first tip, and that is just to make sure you have the right equipment to start with. For me, all I have is my camera and my tripod. As long as you have something to prop your camera up on, then you can, you can get all sorts of shots. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to get any moving shots of yourself, because no one's there to film it. It's just as long as you've got something to mount your camera on or sort of line up your shots, then you're sorted. Now my second tip would be to add a lot of fast cuts into your footage. And um, by this, I mean, because you're shooting by yourself, no one's going to be following you along with the camera or you're not going to have many moving shots, which basically means most of your shots are going to be still shots. So by adding a lot of fast cuts into your B-roll sequences, it kind of just keeps the viewer's attention and I guess it just keeps things interesting with the video. So yeah, fast cuts. Okay, so it's been a little while since I last took my drone out. This is perfect weather for it. I'm just gonna see what sort of photos I can get. For anyone wondering, this is the DJI Phantom 3 Professional. So it's actually quite an old drone, but it still does the job quite nicely. Yeah, let's just uh, have some fun with this. <laughs> Okay, so I had to take the drone down because it was getting a bit too wet outside. Uh, the drone camera started playing up a little bit, so I thought I should probably take it in. I guess we can move on to our third point though, and that is to just make sure you're getting a little bit creative with what you've got. So obviously for me, I've got my drone, I decided to bring that out and we got, some, we got a cool video out of it. Now obviously while I appreciate everyone doesn't have a drone, you could have other things that you're sort of interested in. You could be into, into BMX or you could be into skateboarding. And if you've got a GoPro or something like that, then you can sort of attach it to the bike or attach it to the skateboard, get some cool angles, get some cool shots. There's a lot of different things you can do and you just kind of have to think outside the box and just get a little bit creative with it. Anyway, I am freezing cold. I'm gonna get home and we can review the photos. Yes, I'm filming this in my bathroom, and yes, this is the best lighting in my house. Um, because I don't have any other lighting at the moment, this is what we're rolling with. <laughs> it was so nice to go out on the shoot the other day with absolutely zero expectations, coming back, editing the photos, editing the video, and everything just coming together really, really nicely. That's the kind of shoot that I love. I love going out and just everything flowing really nicely like it did. The photos turned out a lot better than what I expected and it was nice to be able to take the drone out for a change as well. It's been over a year since I last used it. So I've decided I'm gonna do a bit more photography with it I think because why not considering I have it, you know? I'm gonna keep this one short because I am weirdly filming in my bathroom but I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. If you want to follow me on Instagram you can find me at creative.gains you can also find me on TikTok under the same username as well. I hope you all have a good new year and I will catch you in the next one.